Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel Clutter Detox. A lot of my friends keep asking me how do I keep my home clean, dust free and clutter free. The truth is that there is no secret to this. I have just developed a few set of habits over the years that has helped me keep my home clutter free. I'm sure most of you must already be following some of these habits. If not, do try these habits and you will see the difference it makes in your life. So let's get started. I am not at all a morning person which is why I find it very difficult to wake up in the morning. One thing that has really helped me to activate my mind in the morning is opening the window curtain. This lets in natural light and fresh air and snaps me out in the morning. Sunlight in the morning has several benefits which you should read about. I have always been taught to make my bed as soon as I wake up even as a kid. The habit still continues today which has helped me keep my bedroom tidy. Making your bed is again a chore which you are dealing with early in the morning. This only means you are reducing one task for the day. This also gives you a good start of the day as you leave your bedroom tidy. Make use of a brush or a broom to clean off the dust from the bed. I use bed cover on top of the bed sheet. This helps in keeping the dust off the bed throughout the day, ensuring we get to sleep on clean sheets every night. This is essential for good health and a sound sleep. Not just you, but also teach your kids to do the same. This will help them in the long run. If you have a pet at home, do not forget to follow the same rule for the pet. Your pet's bed is bound to be more dirty than yours. This is mainly because they shed hair throughout the night. To make cleaning the pet bed process easier, I use a single fitted sheet on this bed. I change this sheet every week and wash it in the washing machine. This is quite a useful trick as I do not need to wash the pet bed itself which can be a tedious task. Remember, sleeping on a clean bed is also essential for your pet's health. It is very easy to clutter your home if you keep things lying around after you finish using them. This is why it is very important to clean as you go. This means that when you leave a room, make sure that you have kept everything in its allocated space. This is the most important tip that you need to follow if you wish to keep your home clutter free. Encourage other family members to do the same so that you do not have to pick up after they clutter a room. This tip has helped me the most in my decluttering journey. Hope it will help you too. Keeping your home clean also means you cannot let dirt from the outside get inside the house. Recently, I have seen a trend where people wear outside shoes inside the home too. This is a western culture that has slowly creeped into some of the households here as well. I personally find this extremely unhygienic. It is like inviting germs, bacteria and viruses inside the house. There is a strict no-shoe rule inside my home. This rule implies to all the family members as well as the guests that come in the house. Even my pet has her own pair of shoes which she hates to wear. When she is not wearing her shoes, we make sure to wipe her feet every time she comes back from her box. Following this rule will keep your floors clean most of the day. One tip that I have realized quite later on in my decluttering journey is to allocate a space for each item in the house. I have made room for all small and big things in the house. Even a small safety pin has its own space allocated. So when it comes to picking up things and cleaning the area, I know which thing should go where. 
my family knows the same too hence it's easier to clean the house now and find things later on this brings me to my next tip every time when there is a package delivered by amazon or there is a grocery shopping that happens in the house somehow it ends up on the dining table recently i have tackled this issue by allocating a space where all the shopping bags are kept till we get the time to keep the items in its respective space my living room stays clutter free now as the dining table is not used as a storage unit anymore but when you store all the packages in one place ensure that it does not stay there for a long time sometimes you may forget about these bags and the items may accumulate in that area especially if it is a grocery bag fruits and vegetables should be put in the refrigerator as soon as possible to keep them fresh over the years i have noticed that when i work in a cluttered room my productivity decreases a lot this statement is true for everyone who works from home hence one habit that i have developed recently is to declutter the study table every day morning before i start my work this helps keep all the distractions away and i can focus on my work i have developed a few habits over the years so that the amount of work i need to do every day to keep my house clean reduces a few electronic items such as keyboard printer and monitor accumulate dust faster than others covering electronic items is one such habit which protects these items from dust and also reduces my dusting job placing cups and water bottles directly on a wooden table can cause water marks once that happens it becomes difficult to clean the water ring mark from the wooden table this is why i always recommend the use of coasters when you drink tea or coffee even when you place a bottle or a glass of water on the table do use coaster similarly always use place mats while eating at the dining table it makes cleaning the dining table easier after the meal is done laundry is another chore if not done timely can create mess in your house This is why I like to tackle it early in the morning. It is advisable to wash your clothes as early as possible in the morning so that the clothes get maximum sunlight during the day to dry off. After the wash clothes get dried It is always not possible to fold them immediately and place it inside the closet. In my house, dried clothes usually ended up on empty chairs. This would create unnecessary mess. I had to devise a laundry system which made this entire process easier and also mess-free. I used this laundry basket from IKEA to collect all the dry clothes and place it in a corner of the house that has been allocated for laundry. When I'm free in the evening, I take my sweet time to fold the laundry and place it inside the closet. I have also allocated two separate baskets. This blue basket from IKEA is used to store clothes that I need to send for ironing, and the white basket is used to store dry cleaning clothes. I have created a laundry system based on my convenience. You should do the same. One of the easiest ways to keep your home clean is to get few effective tools and gadgets to help you do the same. Over the years I have invested in several efficient cleaning gadgets based on my requirement. For example, this robo vacuum cleaner has helped me throughout the lockdown period. 
it is still useful for me as i have a pet and this helps keep the floor dust free and fur free i have also purchased this handheld vacuum cleaner recently i find this very handy and useful for quick spot cleanings cleaning the car has also become easier with the help of this vacuum cleaner i have also purchased a few of the cleaning tools from amazon there are a few difficult to reach areas in our homes which can be easily cleaned with the help of these tools you will find link of all the products and tools in the description below a messy kitchen can irritate any homemaker especially when there is more than one member in the family your kitchen is bound to get dirty easily with each use as the dirt accumulates cleaning it becomes tougher at the end of the day this is why one rule which me and my family members follow is to wipe the kitchen counter after every use this helps the kitchen stay clean throughout the day which also means winding up the kitchen before i go to bed becomes easier a dirty kitchen counter can be inviting to cockroaches this is another reason why you should always wipe it clean with increase in the number of gadgets in every household multiple chargers headphones earphones etc can make the home messy it is a good practice to allocate a space to store these chargers and wires do not keep your charger plugged into the socket even after your phone is charged unplug it and store it away storing all chargers and wires in one place also means it will not get misplaced hiding away wires as much as possible is important to keep your home clutter free one area that most of us ignore in our house is the dry area as the dry balcony is tucked behind the kitchen hence we do not really care to clean it up but do not forget that it is also a part of the house introducing smart storage system in the dry balcony is an effective way to keep clutter at bay you may not have a broom cabinet in your rented apartment but you can always order this broom gripper from amazon this is an economical product and can hold multiple brooms and dustpans in one place once all your cleaning supplies are vertically stored your dry balcony will look much cleaner and clutter free If you are aiming to keep your house clean then you cannot avoid dusting. In Indian households where we try to keep our windows open most of the day, accumulation of dust is common. The floors can be sweeped, vacuumed and mopped, but you also have to tackle the dust that accumulates on table and open cabinet. This is why I have made it a practice to dust my home at least twice a week. it hardly takes half an hour to dust my entire home dusting regularly will reduce the amount of dirt that accumulates hence making it easier this takes me to the next point the more items you keep in the open it will accumulate dust over the time this is why items which you don't use regularly should be placed inside closets or cabinets When you do this you do not need to clean these items regularly and the amount of time you need to dust the entire home reduces This is the last tip and the most important tip I am going to share with you today Organizing your house does not mean getting multiple organizers and fitting things inside Your aim should not be to just put away things but to create a system that works for you and your family. The flow should feel natural and make working in the house easier. If a correct system is not devised then clutter in the house is inevitable. I will share a simple example with you. 
This is the wardrobe where my husband's formals are stored. The entire cabinet has been organized in such a way that dressing up for office becomes easier for him. His casual clothes are stored in a different closet. This means when my husband needs to get ready in the morning for the office, he just needs to access this closet. This saves him a lot of time. As he knows and understands the system, hence he gets ready without creating any mess in the house. I have followed this principle throughout the house and that has helped keep my house clutter free over the years. I hope you find these tips as useful as I find them. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel.